I really couldn't get to a shoe store, but it was time to change my golf shoes for the season. So I looked at all the options that there were online. I really fell in love with the designs from Under Armour, but I couldn't choose which Under Armour that I really wanted. So I did what any rational person would do. I decided to buy them all. First box opened. Wow, these are pretty nice. So you got a mixture of materials here that seems really soft. This is kind of the high-end shoe, I think, from Under Armour. These are like the Spieth ones, the ones he wears. You've got red spikes, you've got some uh, silver spikes, and the only thing about these shoes to me is that they look very long. If you ever look at Jordan Spieth feet on TV, he looks like he's wearing snowshoes, and you can see it. There's a long look to these. That's the only thing I'm a little worried about. Also sort of on the profile there, you get this curvature here. And I don't know, looking down at that, it might look a little bit odd because those are coming out of the base of the shoe um, or the body of the shoe there. So we'll see what we think of these ones, um, but let's go ahead and keep opening boxes. All right, box number two. There's no MSRP on this. This is the Speed One. Speed one. So you got the Speed 3, Speed, this is the Speed 1. I assume maybe this is an older model of the Speeds. Yes, that's what it seems to look like. Now I gotta say right off the bat, right off the bat, the material, it feels like very that waterproof, but it almost feels like a rubbery material, and that I do not love. The other ones felt much more comfortable. The look of this shoe is much more pronounced. Again, you got that long profile. Looks like you're wearing the ski shoes a little bit. Um, you've got some kind of clear coating here on the uh, heel part of the sole. I think this was his original, must have been Spieth 1's, must have been his original spikes, probably last season's. And definitely I would say the first ones he opened were an upgrade from these for sure. So that is your Spieth 1. Again, look at that profile there. The one thing, again, I'm worried about here is this sort of outer piece that's sticking out from the upper portion of the shoe there. Uh, and again, from the sole side, you see it there. This is a much softer feeling shoe. This one feels a lot more rigid, um, maybe more durable, but when you get a shoe like that that is really hard, I found that they don't wear well over time. Um, could, be, could be not the case in this. But again, if you look at it, that is the difference there between this Speed 1 and Speed 3 versions. All right, so we've got our first pair here, which is the UA Under Armour Hover Fade SL. SL stands for spikeless, I've come to find out. So this is what the SLs look like. Right off the bat, the first thing I think of when I look at these is bowling shoes. They look like bowling shoes my dad used to wear. Uh, my dad was actually a professional bowler, a duck pin bowler. If you've ever been to the mid-Atlantic, they have something called duck pins, which looks a little bit smaller, smaller ball. But these actually look like bowling shoes. Now, they, they're much lighter. <sighs> Compared to the other two, they're definitely a much lighter. Obviously, you got a spikeless design. I've been wearing spikeless now for the last two seasons, uh, so these looked really good to me online. In person, probably don't look quite as good. I like that side profile, but I'm not sure I like that looking down at the shoe. Uh, again, you can't really tell until you try them on, but um, that's, that's what you got going on there. In terms of material, you've got like a kind of a leathery type feel. There's actually a little bit of a texture on this shoe. Um, it feels like it'd be very soft. It definitely feels like it would be from what I can tell, this is definitely a waterproof shoe. These ones, because you've got this soft fabric, the only thing that scares me about these ones is that if you get these dirty or muddy, that's gonna be really hard to clean. Um, I would think that that's gonna smear and probably not going to look good after a couple of rounds. Jordan Spieth, obviously, he's got the, um, the luxury of being able to change his shoes every round, but most of us do not. We'll be wearing, if you're gonna be wearing shoes for an entire season, that worries me. Whereas these definitely feel like uh, these could be cleaned multiple times. 
again, probably waterproof and a nice light feeling shoe. I like that, especially traveling. I like being able to travel with light shoes in my bag so it doesn't take up much space. Okay, next victim, we've got the UA Hover Drive. And again, I don't really know which, what, what the difference is between the Hover SL and the Hover Drive, but we are about to find out. Okay. We've got the Hover Drive here. Okay, so the Hover Drive has more of the Jordan Spieth 1 and 3 type spikes. These are your old, older type spikes that are a little bit more solid, a little bit more rigid if you need more traction. I really like this kind of red thing going on here. That's pretty cool. This is a pretty good looking shoe. It's, a, it's, it's also light. I would say pretty close to the SL spikeless, maybe slightly heavier. Uh, in terms of material, similar material. Does, it's a much more, but it's much more smooth. It's a, it's, it's shinier um, than the SL. It's also doesn't have sort of that grain, leather grain look to it. I like this shoe. I, I do like the profile. So we got one last pair to unbox here. We're looking at the UA Hover Match Play. We've had the Hover SL, we've had the Hover Fade, and now we've got the Hover Match Play. Ooh. All right. So we got a little bit different styling here. I'd say this is closest to the Hover SL. No, it was definitely closest to this one. It's actually very similar. This is a nice bright orange though. So it's probably, they probably call this red. I've seen this, but it's more of like a really bright orange for running. I don't like the top. I don't like looking down at this at the top already. In terms of material, it seems like a slightly better material. There's a little bit more finishing and a little more details going on here. There's definitely a th some real thick padding and stuff here on the heel. Uh, you do have the channel there, again, which is probably for, for comfort there uh, in the heel. You've got the more classic spikes and you've got some more breathable type leather. Now, I don't know if this is waterproof. We'll have to find that out. We'll have to check the specs and see if this is actually waterproof but you've got um, a little bit more breathability, it seems like, in that shoe. So uh, what you don't have, again, is on, the, on those speeds, you've got that top line that kind of juts out. You don't have that on any of these three shoes. They don't have that. So if we're judging this on a purely aesthetic level, I think the winner is probably going to be the Speeth 3. It's a very good looking shoe. Without trying it on, this is the best of the bunch. I would say this is the runner up. This one I really like because I like the weight. It's almost like the best of both worlds because it's got um, definitely kind of a waterproof finish there, a smooth finish. Uh, it does look like it has the nice grip factor uh, of those types. And I like the red, white, and blue combination, honestly. Um, so they're winning me over with patriotism right now. <laughs> so if you're French, uh, British, American, you might like these ones. Who else has a red one? Korean, Korean. Makes sense. That's pretty smart because you got to think there's a lot of golfers in Korea, a lot of golfers in the United States, obviously in Great Britain. Smart thinking under armor. Red, white, and blue. Shoe manufacturers, red, white, and blue, probably the way to go. Um, so I think right off the bat, I like this. What I, but again, what I love about these, what I love about these is how light they are. I, I do like a spikeless option. I just don't, I don't know if I'm sold on the aesthetic of these shoes. I don't know if I really like the looks of these, but hey, we don't know until we try them on and start walking with them. So let's do that next. All right, so we're trying the Hover Match Plays on first. We're gonna kind of work backwards. Interesting, I just noticed that you've got like an orange part of the shoelace there. Let's take that off. Put this on. Feels, um, it looks thick. It feels like there's a lot of support actually. Um, almost feels like a high top. Almost feels like a high top. Gotta love that new shoe smell, right? They feel really big. Here is like the inside sole view. Here is an outside view there. I gotta say these ones definitely feel solid, but they feel really big on my feet. Like they just, I feel like I'm wearing like snowshoes or something. It's very strange. 
So on looks alone, these are probably the worst. Not a winner. Next up, I'm gonna go with the spikeless option, the Hover SL. I don't love the way these look from the top end. On the, again, on the side, I do. It's kind of your top look to it. It looks better than I thought. Definitely looks better than I thought. All right, so there you go. Kind of a side profile shot there. And we'll do insole or inside shot there. Definitely got to say, I, um, they look better looking down at them. So obviously I'm not on grass. I'm on like a travertine floor here, but they're gripping in pretty good. I feel there's definitely some comfort. There's a slight strange feel on my arches. I don't know if they match up with my arches on my feet as good as they could, but relatively comfortable. Um, I don't know if I love them. Don't know if I love them. Definitely don't hate them. Uh, so let's move on to number three. Next up is the Spieth One. On the feel alone, I don't like these. Just the weight, I don't know, the material, just, I don't know, it just feels cheap for some reason. I'm sure it's not, but I can only judge on what I think. Okay, so there we go. Those are the Jordan Speeths. Kind of as I thought, I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that sticking out. Just something about it just seems weird to me. I don't know what it is. These, these shoes feel a bit dated because they are. They're like one or two seasons old at this point. Honestly, the reason I tried these on is because they were pretty reasonable. I think they were priced at like 119 on Amazon. There was a deal going on. These are probably a closeout. I don't know. I, I don't, these are definitely not the ones. Again, feel cheap, look, look kind of dated to me now. It's amazing how style changes so quickly. There's your side profile. That's your top line. And then you've got your kind of inside profile there. Definitely not a winner, 100% not a winner. The next shoe up when we're talking about looks for me was the Hover Drive. Again, really like that red, white, and blue look to it. This is a, you can't, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this is like almost like a, this texture, this webbing is like almost a fabric type webbing. It's kind of cool. Okay, definitely feel solid on the feet. Definitely the most comfortable. For some reason, they just really hug my feet well. These are definitely the most comfortable. Uh, my arches feel good in these ones. Yeah, I like them. These I absolutely like. Only thing, and again, maybe nitpicky, I don't like that shine. I don't know how these would hold up after round one. In round one, they're gonna look great. Round two, maybe that shine will make them easier to clean. I don't know. I do not know. But I know I don't love the shine. That's the only thing I could say though, because they feel good. They look good. And I really do love those little, I love those reds. Hey, look, there's my sandals. They're red, white, and blue. Um, I like the way that looks. I gotta say, I really like the way that looks. I, remember what, I don't remember what these things cost, by the way. Some were more expensive than others, so price obviously is gonna be a consideration too. This is my money I'm spending. All right, so let's move on to the last one, the Spieth 3. Last, but certainly not least, Mr. Spieth shoes himself, the Spieth 3. And there's a little Spieth logo there for you. Even the little paper this comes in has Spieth logos all over it. That's kind of a cool touch. They feel very narrow. Yeah, wow. They look, they look as narrow as they feel. Oh my God. Are they, I mean, obviously I'm not on the golf course and I'm not judging these in any way, shape or form for performance. 
Maybe that'll come next in a separate video. But again, we're just, it's just on aesthetics. That's a big thing, man. I mean, like you gotta feel confident when you walk out on the golf course. If you don't have that confidence and you look down and your shoes or something, you're gonna be looking down a lot because you're looking down at the ball. Uh, I think to me, it's a big part of playing well, actually. Now we may do a separate video, actually test these on course, but at least aesthetically, that's what we're doing on this video. All right, so on foot. First of all, as you can see, they just, <laughs> they're, they're thin. They almost kind of flare out there, but not, not that much. My, my foot, which is kind of a wide foot, is really having, you can almost see the outline. And this is really close to my foot. Um, I don't like this. I just don't like the way that flares out on the top line. I don't love that. They just, something off about them to me aesthetically and i'm sorry to jordan spieth because he probably loves these things but something's off I, I can't put my finger on it there you go on the i'll lift my pants up there that's the your, your inside look definitely good looking i mean they're not ugly they're just maybe not for me i don't know they're just not doing it for me Again, I don't think this is going to hold up over time uh, in terms of washability and wearability uh, looking good over the course of entire golf season. And I'll also say this, whenever you've got clear here, see this clear part of the sole, over time, when that's in mud and when that's in dirt or grass, that starts to not look as good. These are not going to look as good in three to six months as they do right now. I mean, no shoe is gonna look as good as it was day one. But these are going to, that they're gonna drop off that much faster, I, I can tell. I've had enough experience buying golf shoes at this point that I know between the fabric pieces, that clear plastic, these just are not going to look as aesthetically pleasing on day 90 as day number one for sure. But they are, it's a beautiful shoe, it's a gorgeous shoe. If you bought these shoes, I could never fault you because this is obviously the top of the Under Armour line and for good reason. I mean, the finish, absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. Will it hold up though? For an amateur golfer like me, that's probably gonna be the deal breaker. So Speed 3, that and the price. Unfortunately, these aren't gonna be my shoes. I will not be keeping them. Isn't it funny, like pre-coronavirus, you're like, I won't be taking them home today. Whereas right now it's like, I will be sending them away from my home today. <laughs> That's the difference. All right, it's decision time. My top two are going to be the Hover SL and the Hover Drive. Obviously two completely different soles. You've got the spikeless option and a spiked option. I like the aesthetics much more on this. The only gripe, the only gripe I wish this leather was on this shoe. It would make it the perfect shoe. This sort of textured grain, leather grain to it compared to the shiny white kind of rubbery plastic feel to them. Oh man, that, it's a really tough decision. These look better and probably feel slightly better, but I don't know if I can get over that shine. Oh, this is such a tough decision. These are definitely a little bit cheaper. These are a little bit more expensive. I'll tell you what, you've got to decide for me. Leave me a comment below, which pair of shoes would you decide? Those are the shoes that I'm going to game this season. Should I choose Hover Drive, Hover SL? You tell me what you choose. You'll make the decision for what I wear and what I send back to Amazon. Thanks so much for joining me on this video. I hope you learned something by watching me go through this process and telling you what I like and dislike. Hopefully that gives you something. I'm gonna leave links to all these shoes down below so you can choose what shoe you want. I hope you hit them straight and I will see you next week. Bam.